So yeah, we see that part of effort. And as you mentioned, you know, keeping the family together is always the utmost of priority that you know we see today at the level. I guess for me, good a nice you know segue to the next question is being an Islamic family here in the West, we sometimes struggle to find time to seek knowledge and learn about our religion. Because if you ultimately think about it, you know, having an Islamic environment is rooted deep in Islamic knowledge and having the right be and knowing the right thing. If someone doesn't have time, if someone isn't able to commit to a course or go to an institute or go to a masjid class, or they feel shy to go to a masjid, what alternatives and options do they really have? Well, I think uh, if, if you look at how Allah has uh, made things easy for us because life has changed. I touched on this in my topic earlier where Allah has given us technology and facilities that didn't exist before. And we have become people who are much busier than those before us. When you have a job, eight to five, you're driving for an hour or two prior, an hour or two after, or transport. In all of that time, you can use that time constructively while you're on a train. If it's every day, you could actually join lessons online in order for you not to waste the time. Because so much of time I'm going to spend on a daily basis. I know of a gym back in Australia that has lessons for people on the treadmill. So actually while you're running 45 minutes or whatever it might be, you, you end up listening to a lesson every day. You could repeat it. When you're done with the module, you write an examination. And guess what? Next level, where did I go? I went to study Islam in the gym. SubhanAllah. So, and with that being said, I just want to say a big shout out to yourself coming here and uh, sharing these beautiful, beautiful, you know, personal points here. And brothers and sisters, you know, Alhamdulillah, having Mufti Mek as the Dean of Iman Academy, we are so proud to present to you guys a great opportunity for you to actually learn Islam without inconveniencing your life. And a lot of the time we find that when we are trying to seek knowledge and do all these things, we look at the obstacles instead of looking at the opportunity. And today we want to present to you an opportunity that I truly believe if you were to commit and dedicate your time to, with the right application, it can truly change your life as well. So with that, you can have the presentation for Imam Khan. Would you like to start your team but don't know where to start? Well, at Iman Academy, we have revolutionized this process to give you a helping hand. With our new two-year diploma in Islamic studies, you can follow classes chosen by our qualified chefs. You'll go through all seven sciences, Aqida, Fiqh, Belief, Zero, Tafsir, and Tajweed. Iman Academy has over 300 hours of recorded lessons all at your fingers. Go at your own pace from the convenience of your home and get a certified diploma in knowledge by Mufti Mek. So, brothers and sisters, when it comes to seeking knowledge here in the West, I always look back to the days when I was younger and I think to myself, you know, what was it that made me want to try and seek knowledge? And I really understood that, you know, I went through a lot of spiritual doubts and intellectual doubts. And I applied for Medina University three times, but got rejected. Both my brothers applied once and both got accepted. So I thought, you know what, this probably isn't for me. And I remember struggling, getting on trains, buses, to go and try and seek knowledge. And it was very, very difficult for me. I'll be honest with you, 18 year old, you're trying to study, you're trying to keep up, and it was expensive. The train ticket alone was 22, 23 pounds. And so I thought to myself, there must be a better way. Seeing what Iman Academy has, I wish I had something like that when I was young. I honestly wish I had something like that when I was young. And so that's why when we have an opportunity like this, I want to just give you one example. This is what should come to mind. There was a man who went to Mecca at the time of the Prophet When he went to Mecca, he saw a man come out of his house. And this man, he came out of his house and he was doing some strange movements. He was bowing, he was prostrating. And then he saw a woman come out. And then she copied him. And then a young boy came out and he copied him as well. 
And so then this man comes and says, who is, who, who are these people? Who are these, these, these strange people? And then some of the people of Mecca said, that person, him, his name is Muhammad, that's his wife and that's his, uh, that's his nephew. And they are just, you know, they, they, they call themselves Muslims. The man didn't think anything of it, and he, he was inquisitive. But you know what he did? He left it. He left it. He didn't do anything after that. When the Battle of Fahim happened 20 years after, the man then became Muslim. And when he thought about his time 20 years ago, he said, I would have been the fourth Muslim on the planet had I taken my Shahada then and simply acted on the opportunity that was given. And so that's why when we talk about change and transformation and all the beautiful lectures that you've heard, heard here at this amazing, amazing event, change and transformation is not something that happens through you thinking about it or sitting on it. Rather change is a desire that sets deep within you and then you act on it as soon as possible. And so that's why the opportunity here today, I want to ask every single one of you for a massive favor. These devices that we have are like double-edged swords. But today I want you guys to use it for your advantage. And I ask every single one of you to get your phones out. I'll give you guys a few seconds. You guys can see the large QR code there. Don't do anything else other than simply scan it. I don't see people's uh, phones all out, guys. Come on, just move up. Brilliant. Scan that QR code. Okay. And what I want to say to you guys is when it comes to Iman Academy, we have a unique program here that will get you to where you want to go. Now, where is it that you want to go? I remember going to events, listening to lectures, feeling so excited and feeling so, my Iman is just now perfect, I'm feeling so great. You know, I can go outside and give that one to anyone. I'm just feeling amazing right now. You know, all my hardships and trials and tests, wow. My chest seems lighter. But what do I do after an event? You know, you sit at home and listen to a jungle mother for six hours. What do you do? Well, after an event, the best thing to do is to practice what you have just learned and implement what you have just learned. And so this is why I've asked every single one of you to get your fingers ready to implement what you have just learned. With Iman Academy, it is from anywhere in the world, wherever you can find Wi-Fi. Wherever you can find Wi-Fi, you can do Iman Academy. You can become a member and learn online, on demand, in your own time. So you know those Arabic classes where Champions League's on, PSG are playing Madrid and you're thinking, you know what man, I should really be going to do my Arabic. Well, here, this is in your time. You don't have to worry about missing the Champions League. And that's why this is a very, very unique opportunity. <laughs> Iman Academy you also have interactive learning with all your favorite speakers here today. And if you are struggling with any of these subjects, your degrees may not be on point. You want to know who is Allah, what is Allah doing now? You can learn about your aqidah. If you want to learn Arabic, how to learn and speak and read and write Arabic, there's that there as well, along with the life of the Prophet and Sirah, and Tafsir and all the others. Now, when it comes to learning about Islam, we instantly think to ourselves, I have to go to a university. I have to go to Medina. That's the only place where I'm going to go. Well, even if you go to institutes here in the UK, you know, it's going to burn a hole in your pocket. It's going to be expensive. And that overcommitment makes you double think yourself. Two to three thousand pounds of what you would average, on average, that's what you would pay if you would go to any Islamic institute here in the UK or abroad. If you have a Quran teacher, most of us have had some type of Quran teacher online, they need to get paid as well. So ultimately speaking, it's their time and there's that pull and tug as well if you're five minutes late, you know, you're not going to do five minutes at the end. 20, 
30 pounds, sometimes 15, 20 pounds? Think about it. Now, a coffee. Can I ask which one of you has had a coffee today? Is that it? Oh. <laughs> like coffee then, mate. A coffee and a snack is about five pounds. That is the average how much you pay for a coffee and a snack. And you know how we pay for it? Tap, 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 tap. This is so easy, isn't it, nowadays? And so what is Iman Academy? What is the value of Iman Academy? Iman Academy is only $4.99 a month. $4.99 a month, brothers and sisters. This is equal to a coffee and a snack. And let me tell you something. It will give you way more than a coffee and a snack. It will give you so much more. And it will truly help you implement what you have learned here today. And so, with Iman Academy, I spoke to the brothers and I said to them, listen, you know what? I am so confident in this product. I said to the brothers, give them two weeks to cancel if they want to cancel. That's how much I believe in Iman Academy. Give them two weeks and they said, you know what? No problem, we'll do that. So now, all of you who had your phones out in the beginning, if you never did it, and I know there are a few people that didn't do it, you have the opportunity to scan it now. And as I mentioned, the concept of Asabiba, of being the first ones, Allah praises them as the ones who will have closeness with Him on the Day of Judgment. Yani the Sahaba. Just like here today, in this environment, to stand out and to have a call to action that is strong when you leave, is to now act upon what you have learned. What you have learned is not just busy cola where you just feel great and then it just dies up again. It goes flat again. This is now how you put your knowledge into practice. And opportunities may not always come your way. But if an opportunity like this comes your way for only $4.99 with the opportunity to cancel within 14 days, it's a no-brainer. This is why, brothers and sisters, if you have it now on your phone, scan that QR code and dive in. And in 14 days' time, if it doesn't happen for you, just simply email them back saying, you know what? I'm not really feeling it. I'm not really feeling it. Most of us, you know, we we make more than that an hour. We put more than that. Everyone makes more than that an hour. So by the time it takes you to even write the email, you already made that back. This is what I'm getting at. It is at a value that really and truly, I'm, I'm, I'm speaking to you about this. I'm thinking to myself like, is this just a no-brainer for everyone? So myself and the Imam Academy team will be downstairs by the school. You guys can come and ask us any questions. Speak to us about it, but the most important thing I want from all of you now is to go away and put your knowledge into practice and don't make these events an event after an event after an event. Don't do this event, don't do that event, and nothing happens at the end. So, brothers and sisters, I conclude and leave you with this QR code up there, be on there for another minute or so. Scan it, log on, sign up, think about it later. Trust me when I say this. When opportunities come, you pounce and you act. Just like how that man did not do in Makkah, and he regretted it much control. Take control of your Islamic future and sign up to my Academy. I'll be downstairs if you guys would like to come. Have chat, speak to us, and ask any questions yourself. Zaka Herbert, this is Islamic Quran.